Hello, welcome everyone to the One in a Million show. Welcome my kings and queens. Happy Saturday to everybody that's viewing via Facebook. Thank you as always and everyone listening worldwide streaming. I appreciate you. God bless you all. I'm so excited today. Again, we have another special guest. I have in the building with me, Mr. J City himself. Chit chit. Yeah. What's up? So what's up? What's up? What's up? What's is, good? He is in the building today, and we are gonna get some juicy details from him. He has an album releasing, um, album release party. All of that is going down. So we about to get right into it. So let me go ahead and share a little background about Mr. J City. Okay. Word. 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 So known as James Hogan, he was born February ninth, nineteen ninety. Born and raised in Cincinnati, Ohio. He graduated from Woodward High School in 2008. At an early age, James took to sports and music. His mother, grandma, and uncle all played and wrote music. His father played and coached sports. So naturally, James was interested in many, though, mainly those two things. At the age of eight years old, James began to play the violin and write poetry. At the age of 10, James began to rap and write his own raps. One day at a youth concert held at the Underground. Now the Underground was basically a youth center. It was a place for kids and young adults to come hang out and hear music from other gospel and positive artists. While there, James met a young artist by the name of K Drama, who later on became his mentor. James liked his music and was inspired to take his music more serious. Not long after sign up for open mic night at the Gospel Grill that is now known as Code 51, yeah, yeah. at this open mic night, all different types of gospel rappers, singers, and poets will get up and perform. James performed one of his first songs he wrote, which was called Be Successful, which later on will be recorded and featured on this click rec records mixtape and called Certified Street Bangers Volume 1. K-Drama was also there, and that's where they met a second time. And that's how K-Drama became J-City's mentor. Shortly after that, J-City officially became part of this Click Records. While with the record label, J-City rapped at at least 50 different churches in Ohio, even other cities like Dayton, Columbus, Lexington, Kentucky, Elkhart, Indiana. He rapped at many, different, at many different block parties, youth concerts, a few colleges, and did a few radio interviews as well. As the years passed, James went through many different trials and tribulations. In doing so, he put his music to the side. He graduated high school and went to college, majoring in audio and video production. In 2014, James' mother, Lady A, Ward released album called Surrender. J City was featured on two of her tracks, Surrender and Victory. While still working on his music, 
James began to do other things behind the scenes, such as flyers, promote, and record his own podcast on Google Podcasts called Thinking is the Problem, which is also the name of his YouTube channel. Today, James is back and fully doing music and is dropping his first independent album called My Story. Okay, so we just got the background. You said it all. You said it all. I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say on the interview. It's over, folks. It's over. That's it. it. (laughs) So we just got the details and background story of Jay City. And as I stated, I'm going to get some details from him. He got a lot going on right now. And I also just want to add, he has his mother, Lady A, in the building, who is also a recording gospel artist. Chill, I just want to mention that. So she's here behind the scenes as well. So we're going to get right into this interview, y'all. And I'm going to get some juicy, juicy questions in with Uh-oh. JC. TMZ. <laughs> no. So, you know, I was going over your bio and things like that, right, and right, right. I wanted to ask some questions. Now, oh, I noticed that you mentioned K-Drama had mentored you, Yes. and I wanted to know, well, how long did he mentor you, and does he mentor you today? Oh, and then I also wanted to know, what was the most important thing that you learned from him? Whew. Well, question number one. Um, he started mentoring me back when I was like 13. Um, um, but like, it wasn't also just like, it was, he was kind of like my big brother. It wasn't all just like, like he was doing it to get a check or nothing, like a boys and girls club. He right. kind of like did it out the kind of his heart, right? Okay. Really kind of just took me under his wing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, I was at his house, he was feeding me, you know, yeah. and all that type stuff, you know, saying, but, um, yeah, I mean, but most important thing I learned from him was, I would say he wore different hats. Like mm-hmm. he wasn't it, he wasn't just a rapper. Right. Like he was a producer. He produced. He made beats. He did the promotion. Like he did it all. Wow. So that's what I. That's one of the most important things I learned because sometimes if you don't have, uh, you know, or like a team necessarily yeah. to do all of that stuff for you, you have to do it first. Like you got to be your own team first. Right. Right. Like until you get to a certain level and build up, you know, your team around you and stuff like that. So I learned that. That was that's like the most important thing I would say I learned, and to never give up at what he did. Yeah, you know what you do. So, okay. uh, so yeah. So in a sense, it's like you learn not only to be a rapper, but right. also what all goes into behind the scene works. You have to know about production. Right. You have to right. know about yeah. Yeah. who to connect with. You have to know about you know all those certain type of things to basically get where you need to be in your music career right right yeah yeah it's more to it than just it's more to it just than the music yeah you know so okay which is the next project actually next year more than the music okay it's coming out but you know we focus on my story right now but (laughs) yeah just you know you and already said it the next project is more than music okay y'all heard it here first yeah Yeah, this is an exclusive okay one in a million yeah all right so in your bio I also noticed that um, you said you had a podcast yeah. called Thinking is the Problem. Yeah. Uh, could you just give like yeah. more insight on what the purpose of your podcast is for and what do you what do you discuss on there? I discuss everything. It, okay. It's nothing's off limits. Um, I'm not like judgmental on there or nothing like that, but just a lot of stuff that we think about that we're afraid to say okay. or stuff yeah. like that, um, stuff that people may be too afraid to talk about or discuss but you know you come on there and you can discuss it yeah. whatever it is you yeah. know that's pretty much what it is i just called it thinking it's the problem because thinking is my problem i think a lot okay so um i don't oh, think wow. it's necessarily a bad thing but it could be a problem sometimes yeah. if you overthink stuff yes you can not get to where you're going to go because you're thinking about bad things that may happen to prevent you from that so yeah. that's why i say sometimes thinking is my problem okay. so that's where the podcast came in effect Okay, so, yeah. and having a podcast, you got to be pretty bold because, you know, yeah. people hit you with yeah. different type of questions yeah, and they yeah, want to yeah. learn your input on certain things. Right, and, right, right. And the title yeah. itself, to me, is thought-provoking because when, he, when I seen it, <laughs> when it said thinking it's a problem, I was like, yeah. well, hold on, wait, you yeah. got to think. But yeah. now that you explain right, yeah, what it meant, now I yeah. get what you're saying because... Yeah. Think overthinking is a, yeah, could so, be a problem. Something yeah. that I struggle with sometimes yeah. as well. So I, right, I get right. that. 
Yeah. Okay, y'all. He got a podcast, so y'all know he got a podcast out. It's thinking is the problem. So make sure you can go ahead and listen to him on his topics that he discussed. And where is that again? It's on YouTube right now, and it's on Google Podcasts. You only okay. gotta search James Hogan, or you can just search thinking is the problem. Okay. And uh, yeah, so that's how you find it. Okay. Cool. All right. So we about to get into details about your album. Okay. Yeah. So. I want to know. He got the album up, y'all. For yeah. y'all who looking on Facebook, this is his album. I got the hard okay. copies for the, the old school folks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they ain't with all that streaming stuff. I understand. Every time I tell, yeah, you can go on this. You can go on iTunes. Baby, I can't do that. So I got the hard copy for those folks. You know what I'm saying? It's a little special. So, you know. So, yeah. So it'll be all out on streaming like a week after the concert. So, you know what I'm saying? Stay tuned for that. So, yeah. Okay. So, I want you to go ahead and tell me, like, what's your favorite track off the album? Favorite track? All of them is my favorite track because I wrote it. So okay. Number one. So, um, yeah. What's my favorite track? <laughs> it's kind of hard to say. Um, <laughs> he said all of them good. So, that basically um, means he got a it's, fire it's album. It's dope. I mean... The, my got, favorite track well I guess since it's called My Story I'm gonna go with the last song is My Story so okay. it's kinda like my testimony so I will say My Story okay Yeah. so, so with but, that being yeah. said then I want you to go ahead and spit a little bit for the people so they she can get a sample something. of what they are gonna spit hear spit something okay here we go yo yo I'm gonna go off the top a little bit yo 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 Yo, I'm back, dog, y'all, when that's the deal. See, y'all speak life. Yo, homie, and that's for real. Not putting God first, saying this hip-hop second. See, I rep for Christ, dog, and that's what I'm repping. We praise God. Yeah, we praise your holy name. But I'm not in the gang, and Christ is what I claim. Yeah, and then he keep me safe through the rain. And he keep my mind sane, even through my pain. And even through my pain, and even through my struggles, though, you keep my mind strong. I always build my mental muscles up to be saved. Now, it don't cost a Cheeto, but who the sun sets free. It's free though, but who the sun sets free is free indeed. Yeah. yeah, it's real facts, yo. Real bars, real Christ, real rap, yo. I thank you now because you always got my back, though. Yeah, now you always been around, yo. I thank him now, though. Uh, now we sit on high. He looks down, and he always got the crown on. Uh, uh. That's a little, I'm going to cut it like okay, that. Okay, thank go you. Into a, so next, song, I just want song, you to so, give yeah. some details on your album release party. Let them know where it's at and how they can find you on social media. All right, so the album is going to be at my church, Power of Faith Ministry, 7048 Fairfield Business Center Drive, Fairfield, Ohio, 45014. That's where it's going to be. You can also follow me on IG and Twitter and all of that, J City Music 513 uh, you can follow me on Facebook, J City Five One Three, and it's SoundCloud as well. Um, shout out to the Atmosphere Changes yeah. for throwing on the concert. Um, you can follow them at Atmosphere Changes on Facebook. So yeah, so hit us up. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in today. As we got to welcome J City here, I'm excited about what God is doing in his life. And this just goes to show you that whatever your purpose is, whatever God has designed you to do, that you can surely do it with his help and the support around you. So thank you so much, you all, for tuning in to the One in a Million show. I appreciate you all on Facebook and always viewing. I love y'all. God bless you all. And thank you again so much for your continued support. Have a great day. Cheers.